Hi, my name is Izzy, and in this video, I'll show you how to switch from Toggle to Clockify. While both Toggle and Clockify give you a way to track your time and analyze your productivity, they each offer a distinct set of features to help you with that. One of the most obvious differences between the two is that Clockify offers more pricing options that are more affordable per user. In its free plan, Clockify offers unlimited projects, clients, and users, while Toggle's free plan is limited to only five users. Also, in Clockify, you can track time in multiple ways, through a timer, a timesheet, the kiosk, and the auto tracker. Whichever method you use, all your data will be synced and saved. Later in this video, we will briefly go through Clockify in more depth, but for now, let's see how to actually switch from Toggle to Clockify. Once you're logged into Toggle, go to the Reports section and select the desired date range for which you want to export the data you need. Next, filter what you want to export, for example, if you want to transfer certain clients only, and track time for them in Clockify. Now click Export and download data as CSV. If you wish to import only projects and clients, for example, you can open the CSV file and manually delete all the columns except for projects and clients. Now. Go to the Clockify web app, click Settings in the sidebar, and go to the Import tab. Click Upload CSV file, and select the file you've exported from Toggle. The importer will analyze what projects, clients, tags, and tasks it needs to create. Once it's done, you'll receive a notification that the import was successful, and you can check your newly imported time entries and projects in Clockify's detailed report. To be imported correctly, your CSV file needs to be in the right format. In case your CSV file doesn't match the format for Clockify, you'll be notified so you can quickly put data in the right format before importing the CSV file again. You can correct the data format in any text editor or in Excel. These are the overall rules that'll keep your data in the right format. If you receive a date or time format error, you can set the correct one in your profile settings here, so it matches the one in the file. You can also change the format in the file, but that takes a bit more work. Clients, projects, tasks, and tags you want to import should be separated by a comma, with their category in the first row and their values in each row below. And if, for example, for some project you have a name and tasks, you would put a comma in the place of a client and tags. Or, if you have multiple tasks for one project, you can list as many rows as you need with the same client and a project, with a new task in each row. Now, your data is ready and organized, and you can proceed to explore other Clockify features to customize it to your needs. If you have plenty of projects and team members, or just want to delegate some of the responsibilities to other team members, you can assign them to the role of a manager. Project managers can manage their projects and tasks, decide who will have access to the project, set project estimates, and create schedules. While team managers can manage their team's time, manage approval of their timesheets, and time off. Time off in Clockify gives you a way to manage employees' absence through customized time off policies and holidays, so you can better allocate your resources. The first step for profitability tracking is setting up the billable rates for revenue tracking and cost rates for labor cost tracking. Rates in Clockify can be set the same way as in Toggle for workspace projects, team members, and project members, with an additional option to set the task rates as well. This way, you'll have a more comprehensive view of how much each task contributes or takes away from your budget. Another way to monitor your budget is to record expenses, which can be project-related or kept as a log of your internal expenses. Expenses can be billed to a client alongside your billable hours. Billing is quite simple. If you just import your billable hours and expenses from a certain project to an invoice, you will be able to customize it and send it to a client.
Each invoice will have its status based on the payment and sent status, so you always know what has and hasn't been billed, what is overdue, and what has been partially paid. In case you need further details on time entries or team members, you can always create custom fields for users or time logs. Custom time entry fields will be visible in the detailed report, so you have all the details you need at just a glance. To learn more about reports and other Clockify features, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.